Chip, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Hi, Chip. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. I just uh, switched from uh, Windows XP to uh, Windows 10, so I, I've jumped over wow. all the other rest. Wow. Also, one, th one thing I really missed was that icon, the uh, notification icon, uh, the two, two monitors on the bottom right-hand corner on Windows XP where you can mouse over and you can see where the... Uh, if your internet is working, the system and it lights up. The system tray. You still have that? You don't see that anymore? Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't light up anymore. And I oh. mouse over. It doesn't tell me how many packets are going through. So if my internet's down, I can't tell. I didn't uh, notice I, that. Well, the nice thing about Windows 10 is it, they do d tell you, you can find out a lot more about your network usage uh, and flow. I guess it's not showing it in the uh, icon. But if you go to the settings menu, you can learn a lot about much more than in Windows XP. So it doesn't, I, I haven't really noticed that. So in, in XP, I guess it would show you, as it does on many phones, it would show you, okay, we're talking to the internet now, it's going up, it's going down. It would light up like that? Two monitors, yeah, it would be two monitors that it would light up. It yeah. doesn't light up anymore. I Googled every place. Where I even know what the <laughs> Where did, where's the light? Uh, you know, this is a good question. There are companies, lots of them, that make add-ons uh, that you could put in the system tray. Uh, and I will find one for you that will monitor or show you in a, in a graphical way your uh, internet traffic in the system tray. Um, that's that's got to be, got to be it. Apparently, according to Dale Poco in our chat room, it's been several versions of Windows. You jumped, you skipped Vista, <laughs> you skipped, what did he skip? Windows 8, good thing. Windows 7, that was a good one. You missed Windows 7. That was probably the best one in the bunch there. You missed Vista, which wasn't so hot. Windows 7. Windows 8. Ooh. Windows 8 one getting better. You skipped all of those. You went right to Windows 10. But it's been a few versions, apparently, since they stopped showing network traffic. But I guarantee you, we will find you, and I'm, I'm going to leave this to, and as an exercise for our chatters, uh, something that you can run that will show in your system tray that will show you lights or any any number of things. One of the reasons you don't need to do that, and when you know Microsoft doesn't need to do that, is because there is a very rich ecosystem of third-party developers who do all sorts of stuff like that, all sorts of stuff like that. Net speed monitor says Steve in San Diego. Net speed monitor. What we want is something that'll sit in the system tray and show you little green and red little arrows going up and down and tell you what's going on. Here's one too. We'll put this all on the uh, website techilabs.com. ITSamples.com Network Activity Indicator. Um, I'm sure there's literally dozens of these. Dozens of them. 8888 Ask Leo. That's one of the nice things. I have to say, one of the really nice things about using an operating system that has a lot of users, and Windows has a lot of users. Windows 10, last time I checked, 110 million users of a brand new operating system or a year old operating system. That's pretty good. And many, many, many more hundreds of millions of users starting with Windows XP and on. Uh, that means there's a lot of developers working on little tools and utilities. And so there's a rich, I hate to use the word ecosystem, a rich panoply of programs you can use.